Hello, how are you today? Uh, in this video, I'm going to be showing you a little sampling of some CDs from my compact disc collection. And these CDs, uh, some of them are, were bought brand new and some of them were bought used. And I'll be sure to let you know which one is which as I go through the pile of CDs. And also, as many of you know, if you've seen my past videos, you know that uh, I love all kinds of music, but the main genre of music that I really like would be uh, 80s, new wave, synth pop, electronic, dance music, that sort of thing. So if that's not your thing, you probably won't find this video very interesting, but you're encouraged to watch. Uh, but really, I love all kinds of music. Uh, 80s, new wave, and synth pop is really kind of my favorite, but I listen to a little bit of everything. And I love oldies. I listen to um, golden oldies from the 60s, 70s, 80s, and the 90s. So I love a lot of that stuff. Okay, so again, I'm going to show you about half a dozen CDs from my compact disc collection. So here we go. All right, well, coming up first is World Click by Delight. And of course, this was a dance music classic. It was released in 1990. And I remember when this came out, and I remember the first single was Groove is in the Heart, and that was such a huge hit. And to this day, Groove is in the Heart still gets played on a lot of oldie channels, and I'm sure if you went to a retro night at your local dance club, they'd probably put on Groove is in the Heart. And I love that song, it's great. But it's not my favorite on the album. My favorite track on the album is actually called Good Beat. I love that song, just a really irresistible beat. And what's great about this, this is a reissue that came out a few years ago. I bought it brand new and it has two discs. So the first disc is a remastering of the original album. And then the other disc is a bunch of uh, remixes, rarities, B-sides, that kind of thing. So it's just a really amazing edition of that album, World Click. Just a really positive, sunny, happy album. I, I, it's one of the most uplifting dance music albums I've ever heard. So if you've never heard it, give it a try. I think you'll like it. And now that we're talking about dance music, here is a compilation called North, The Sound of the Dance Underground. And this came out in the late 80s. I actually bought it used maybe five or six years ago. And it was produced by a guy named Mike Pickering. Now you may know that name Mike Pickering, especially if you're a fan of 80s music. Uh, he was a DJ from England and he was very heavily involved in the acid house scene in England at that time. And again, this came out around 1988, 1989. And it's just a really good collection of uh, house music, acid house music from that area and from that time. Uh, you've probably never heard of many of the artists on this album, but that's okay. The songs are still really cool. Um, it, it's certainly not polished dance music. It's not slick. It's kind of raw and kind of um, cold dance music, but I love it. So that's North, the sound of the dance underground. And coming up now, a band that I've really grown to love. They're called Fun Boy 3. And uh, I, I didn't really notice them when they f were first out. When they were around in the 80s, I didn't really pay much attention to them. And I also think too that they were much better known in the United Kingdom than they were here in North America. They had a number of hits in the UK, but really they didn't get a whole lot of play here in North America, especially not on commercial radio. Uh, but they, they do a version of uh, Our Lips Are Sealed, the big hit for the Go-Go's. Actually, I think their version is the original version I believe, and that the Go-Go's version is a cover. Uh, but yeah, they have that song. They have another song called The Lunatics Have Taken Over the Asylum. Um, the telephone always rings. Just, uh, just they were very quirky. They very quirky. They had a really unique sound. The best way I can describe their sound is kind of a mix of pop music, uh, reggae, calypso, um, all kinds of world music kind of in this really eclectic mix that was really memorable and really cool. So that's the best of Fun Boy 3. Really 
interesting band, very original band. So if you don't know them, check them out. And coming up now, one of my all time favorite albums. And I believe I've mentioned this album before. This is called Number One in Heaven by the band Sparks. And this was released in 1979 and produced by Giorgio Moroder. And I'm going to be telling you a bit more about Giorgio Moroder later in this video. This is easily one of my top 20 all time favorite albums. I love Sparks. I talked about their music in another one of my videos. Please check that out. But basically Sparks, they started out in the early 70s and for quite a while they did a lot of really sort of uh, eccentric, hard rock kind of music. They were really sort of a bombastic um, hard rock band for much of the 70s. Kind of glam, you know, but always very quirky and always very um, eccentric. And then in 1979 they turned a lot of heads when they decided to put this album out. Uh, it's 100% electronic and again it was produced by Giorgio Moroder and I think it's one of the best things he's ever done. Just super tight, super catchy uh, electronic music, electronic dance music, wall-to-wall uh, -wall synthesizers, wall-to-wall -wall programmed bass lines, just incredibly tight songs. So if you like that kind of thing, I think you would love Number One in Heaven. Um, all kinds of great songs on here. I love uh, Beat the Clock, Tryouts for the Human Race, My Other Voice. The whole album is really exceptional and really unforgettable. And I actually first discovered this album when I was in high school. I found it in a bargain bin at my local Kmart. Believe it or not, <laughs> they had a bunch of old records in a, in a bin. They were selling, I think, for like $1.49 each. And that's where I found on vinyl, sealed, Number One in Heaven by Sparks. And uh, I picked it up and loved it. This is a reissue that came out just a few years ago. Uh, and again, if you're into really quirky, spacey, futuristic dance music, check this out. It's very, very cool. And coming up next, the soundtrack to Dazed and Confused. Certainly a movie that I love, a soundtrack that I love. The movie came out in 1993. And uh, yeah, if, if you haven't seen the, mu the movie, do yourself a favor, watch it. Um, just a, a really good film that kind of captures the essence of the 1970s. And there's a lot of really classic rock and pop songs on here. Stuff by uh, Alice Cooper, uh, Fog Hat, Ted Nugent, The Runaways, War, Leonard Skinner, all kinds of really excellent uh, classic rock tunes from the 1970s. So that is the soundtrack to Dazed and Confused. And if I recall correctly, I think I bought this in a local secondhand store. Yeah. And finally, in this little sampling of my CDs, a little sampling of my CD collection. This is an album called Deja Vu by Giorgio Moroder. Now I mentioned Giorgio a few minutes ago when I talked about Sparks number one in heaven. Giorgio Moroder, if you don't know, you might not know his name, but you certainly know his music. He was the sort of disco god in the 1970s. He produced a lot of hits for Donna Summer. And then in the 80s, he became the soundtrack king. He did the soundtracks for all kinds of movies, Top Gun, Scarface, The NeverEnding Story, the list goes on and on and on. So it's, it's very unlikely that you haven't ever heard his music. He produced uh, Call Me by Blondie. He produced all kinds of big uh, hits. He also did the, the music for Flashdance. He produced uh, What a Feeling by Irene Cara. Yeah. The guy had the golden touch. Anyway, this is an album that Giorgio put out in 2015, and he was 74 years old when he released this album. Really, really amazing. And he collaborates with many different artists on this, many different uh, guest vocalists, and it's a really fun album. Uh, it's a great breezy, lightweight album to put on, especially if you're cruising in your car on a summer's day. Just some really, fun uh, kind of dancey tunes. Now, is this as good as the stuff he did in the 70s and the 80s? No, I wouldn't say so, probably not. But nevertheless, it is good, it is fun. So that is Deja Vu by Mr. Giorgio Moroder, one of my biggest musical idols. 
Thank you so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this little video featuring a little sampling of my CD collection. I'm going to be making more videos like this in the future. I love collecting CDs, cassettes, vinyl. Um, and let me know what are some of your favorite CDs. Leave a comment, give us a thumbs up. We'd love to hear from you. And as always, please subscribe to the channel. I post new tech and media reviews every week. And if you join my channel, it won't cost you anything. There's no obligation on your behalf, but it will certainly help my channel grow. I greatly appreciate it. Thank you so much. We'll see you again next time. Take care. Bye-bye.